Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here at Austin Cyber Shop. Today we have a MSATA 20 gig solid state and we're going to try to uh, replace it here in our hard drive so we can test it out and see what's going on. We had a few um, few people buy a few of these and they're not uh, they're not working correctly so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get these tested. Um, in order to use it on most laptops you may have to buy an adapter. Some of them have an MSATA slot but not every single laptop does. So it's just, you know, a simple adapter. You can get it on eBay. Uh, we don't actually carry them, but uh, you can't find them. They're not even that expensive. So we're going to go ahead and swap out the hard drive and see if we can see what's going on with this, uh, this solid state here and see if we can get listed as a good solid state. <clears throat> Alright, so we take that out. This is our... Uh, regular hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out nice and carefully. Take our uh, adapter, plug that in. There you go. We're going to go ahead and close that. Now let's see what happens when I try to boot with this uh, this MSATA solid state. Okay, so uh, it's actually, if you look over here asking me if I want to start Windows normally, let's go ahead and give that a shot. Oh, it looks like there's a Windows operating system installed. It looks like it's uh, for an Acer and nursing. So, in general, uh, what you would do at this point is uh, most laptops have their own uh, their own product key. So you can usually either get a Windows 7 CD or a jump drive like this one or this looks kind of funny but this is a jump drive I got at Walmart for about 13 bucks for two of them 8 gigs you can do a Windows uh, a boot in there so that way you can go to the boot instead of to the, to the solid state and we're gonna wipe it alright so uh, mainly because I don't know the password and I don't really feel like uh, trying it. I don't really feel like going through somebody else's stuff. So, um, and we definitely don't want to sell a product that has somebody's stuff on already on it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the boot menu, the BIOS. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to boot. And we want to do the, uh, the cruiser pop, which is the uh, jump drive. So let's go ahead and move that up. Use F6 to move it up. So there you go. And then you press F10 to save and exit. All right. Now it's going to go ahead and boot right off of my jump drive, which is, uh, like I said, a uh, Windows installation ISO. So, we're not actually going to install Windows again on it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and format this hard drive uh, to not have Windows or any operating system on it. Or, I'm sorry, solid state. This is a solid state. Oh, it looks like uh, it didn't take the command that I gave it. Oh, there it is. Yes, it did. Okay, so we're at the... Uh, the screen where you're going to go ahead and click next and right here it's going to be like install now what to know before installing windows repair your computer we're going to go there and it's going to search for windows and it's going to definitely find one but see right there we're going to go ahead and sh click, click shift and f10 Shift F10, that's going to give us a command prompt. And 
it's going to say X sources. So we're going to go to uh, disk partition. We're just going to put disk part. And it's just going to take a second. Disk part. All right. And we're going to go list disk. Okay, and we're disk one, uh, 20. Looks like it's actually a 30 gigabyte uh, solid state, so 30 gigabyte. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and select disk. Sorry, I'm new to this. Uh, so let's select disk zero, and then you're gonna do list partitions. So it has two partitions. You're gonna go ahead and delete, or no, you're gonna select partition one you only have to put cell par one for select par one and then you're going to try to delete it delete par del par so it successfully deleted the uh, par and then you're going to select par two For some reason, this one jumped back up, but we'll just click on that. R2, and then we're going to try to delete par. And sometimes it won't let you, so, but this time it didn't. So now there are no partitions on this uh, solid state, but we're going to go ahead and create a par. We're going to create a partition, and it's going to be our primary. All right. Um, and went ahead and succeeded in creating a partition and then we're going to format it so format to get it ready for sale and assuming it formats correctly we'll go ahead and have this up um, but if you notice it's quite easy to actually use a, a solid state and they're a lot quicker than most hard drives and from my understanding they'll also save your battery quite a bit Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us, and have a great day.